I think it's more important than ever in the world we live in today that we, we, we have a vision of what it would be like to live in a peaceful world. the kind of world we all want and then to see what we as individuals can do to try and bring that about and peace starts within we have somehow to find peace within ourselves so that we can then reach out to others and spread this message of peace so how do you find peace within yourself when you live in a really difficult situation when perhaps you are a refugee I think the only way I can think of doing this is each day to try to do your best to make the world around you just a little bit better. And if you can go to sleep each night thinking, well, I really did do my best, maybe in a very difficult situation, then that will give you the kind of feeling that leads to peace, and then you're better able to help others. So the main message of Roots and Shoots, and this is very important for Peace Day, is that each and every one of us matters and has a role to play in this world, even though we don't yet perhaps know what that role is. And even more important, each and every one of us makes some impact on the planet every single day that we live. And we're in a position, a fortunate position, of being able to choose what sort of impact we make. What do we buy? What do we wear? What do we eat? How will those little choices affect future generations? And one thing which needs to be said on this day of peace, and that is there is war. We know about the wars and the conflicts around the world. There's a new threat of nuclear war with crazy people whose fingers are buttons that could annihilate mankind. There's terrorism, which is a new, completely new. What a way to begin the day of peace. But we'll never have true peace. Yes, we need to respect each other. Yes, we need to learn more and more about each other's nations, cultures, customs. We need to learn more about the different religions because religion is causing so much strife. We need to realize that every single major religion has the golden rule, do to others as you would have them do to you. It's the fanatics who are changing the religions into something which is causing conflict. While we need and must respect each other, while it's important for everyone to live lives of dignity, this can never come about until we also stop the war that we are waging as a species on the natural world, on the environment that actually supports us, that gives us water and clean air. We're destroying it. And one of the outcomes of that is climate change. There's no time to go into all of this. But I think you know what I'm talking about. Species, other species, we're supposed to share the planet and yet species are disappearing, ecosystems are collapsing. That's going to affect us. But now we realize, and we're realizing more and more, that other animals also have emotions and feelings. They feel pain, they feel fear. And what are we doing to them? They too are refugees and losing their homes. They too are homeless. They too are dying and suffering. So, on this peace day, when we dream and think about peace, we should also commit ourselves to doing everything in our power to bring about peace. It's no good thinking of the big wide world and the big wide wars, but think about our own communities, our own lives, the people surrounding us, nature surrounding us. What can we do to make that a more peaceful place? So, uh, roots and roots and shoots, growing a critical mass of young people sharing the same philosophy of respect for other human beings, respect for nature, respect for other amazing animals. And what is so important is hope. 
If we don't have hope, we give up, we do nothing. And in this world of violence and fear, we must have hope for a better future. And that's something each one of us can work for. And it's you young people who give me the most hope. When you understand the problems and are empowered to take action, what you are doing around the world is unbelievable. My greatest reason for hope, along with the human brain, the resilience of nature, and the indomitable human spirit that we see in refugees, in homeless people, overcoming seemingly insurmountable problems and showing we're part of an extraordinary species. And we will only achieve our true human potential when head and heart work in harmony.